What's up everyone? Thanks for tuning in today um, for this online lesson. Today we're talking about a real interesting topic. I am about to take some time off of playing and you might think, well, Sean, why do I care about your lesson when you're taking your vacation? Uh, well, we're in the summer of 2020 right now, and uh, most of us are experiencing, you know, different levels of quarantining, different levels of not playing, different levels of loss of gigs. And I'm taking this opportunity to take a little bit of time off. I have about six weeks before I actually have another um, playing obligation I have to do. So I'm going to take a couple weeks off of playing here and uh, just to get a little time off and also to help my playing. So the second half of this lesson, uh, you're actually going to see me 10 days later here about when I come back to playing and we're going to see what I sound like then. But just to give you a little bit of a reference point, I'm going to play a few things right now that I'm then going to play in um, you know a week and a half from now. So I'm going to play a little bit of long tones, um, a little bit of something pretty, and then a little bit of just me improvising a little bit. So we can kind of compare what I sound like in 10 days and talk about why um, that has such a big effect on us as brass players. So let's check it out. Here comes some of that playing and then we'll see how it sounds like um, in a week and a half and then talk about some things. All right, there's some long tones just to hear some sound, just for some comparison. I'm gonna play a little bit of a ballad. This is uh, my one and only love, Great Standard. And finally, just a little bit of me improvising on play a chorus of B flat rhythm changes. <laughs> All right, cool. We'll see everybody in about a week and a half. All right, I'm back. Uh, took a little while off the horn. Actually, I'm taking two full weeks off of playing my instrument. This is literally the first time I've gotten my horn out of the case. Um, zero playing in the last two weeks. And I didn't even do any warm-ups or anything. So what I'm gonna play for you right now is legit like 
the first notes I have played in the last couple weeks here. So I'll play some of those things that I just played a little earlier, some long tones, um, a ballad, and then a little bit of rhythm changes. And I wanna talk about why this is important, why it's important for us to take time off as brass players, how this can actually do positive things for our playing, particularly for those of us who are in this for the long run. Uh, so here we go, let's check it out and start with a couple long tones. All right, so right away I'm noticing just a little bit of a challenge really centering the note and also a little challenge getting my air moving. Um, I didn't do any breathing exercises, no stretching, no anything. So just getting some of those fundamentals happening is what I'm probably going to be mostly focusing on over the next couple of days as I get my chops back together. Uh, let's hear a little bit of a ballad. <laughs> Okay, and finally, just a little bit of me blowing through some of the changes. Okay, cool. So overall, I'm actually not too disappointed with how my sound is coming out right now. Um, in all honesty, it has been years since I took two weeks off completely of playing, and so I wasn't quite sure what to expect. I'm actually pretty pleased um, getting relatively good control um, and actually okay response as well. The reason it is important, I think, for us as brass players to have this time away from the instrument is kind of two reasons. Number one is the physical kind of technical components of playing. We want to have some time to kind of forget some of those bad habits in a way, maybe forget some of the problems we have. And it's really more about having time to rebuild in a good way. So for me, over the next, you know, maybe week to two weeks of playing, I'm really going to be focusing on fundamentals, finding the sound, getting the air working the way it's supposed to, making sure that my response is really good. Yeah, I've probably lost a little bit of my upper register, probably lost some of my ability to play fast, play loud um, with um, a good sound. I'm not really gonna worry about those. I'm just gonna worry about building up a good foundation. So as um, my chops get fully back into shape over the next couple of weeks, um, that foundation is really, really strong. And if I hadn't taken this time off, it can sometimes be difficult 
to um, work in that same way, both from a standpoint that, hey, you know, I still feel pretty good, so I want to practice music versus really just focusing on these fundamentals. But also when we lose a little bit of that stamina and a little bit of that um, sort of strength and conditioning, uh, it can be easier to really put ourselves in the mindset that we need to um, rebuild rather than try to like fix problems. We're just trying to build a strong foundation rather than fix problems. That's what we want to think about. Now, the second reason we might want to take a little bit of time off has to do with more of the musical side and the mental side of playing. Um, in all honesty, kind of by the middle of the summer here um, and, you know, whatever, five to six months of quarantining, my brain was a little bit shot. Um, I'm still relatively involved teaching online and trying to find other online performance things, but that is fatiguing and it can be difficult to feel like you want to be creative in that mindset. Um, and so I had this time to take it off. I wanted to, and I didn't really think about music at all over the last two weeks. I, you know, spent some time hanging out with my dog, with my wife. I um, did some work on my house. All of these things were great ways for me to get away from music. So hopefully, um, now coming back, I can feel a little bit refreshed and ready to move forward through, you know, the next six months, which really will generally probably be very similar from a playing perspective. But then after that, really trying to be ready for when um, quarantine time is over and we can start performing, um, trying to maybe work on some new projects and new compositions, all that type of good stuff. So hopefully this gives you just a little bit of context about what somebody like myself, kind of a journeyman freelancer, um, does to think about managing their face, managing their time um, during this challenging time for all musicians.